Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. Day one for the Southern Miss football team is in the books as the competition for the starting quarterback spot between Quadre Griggs and Jack Abraham is already heating up. One of the biggest differences on the first day of fall camp was the noticeable speed that the Golden Eagles have supplied for one of those two quarterbacks. Skilled players like Tim Jones and Trevor Terry showed burst today, which can add to the dynamic of the roster. It's usually easy for guys to be amped up on day one. It just comes down to whether they can sustain it through camp. But day one wasn't a usual amped up kind of day in Hattiesburg. You know, I thought we had some f good fundamental work, but I really wasn't pleased with our, uh, I didn't think we finished the practice real well. I think we got to pick up our intensity. I think it's cold, coaches, players, we need a better day tomorrow. Now the Golden Eagles will return to the field tomorrow, looking to bring more energy day two of camp. Saints training camp day eight in the books, and we saw two very encouraging signs at camp today. The health and performance of DN Alex Okafor and left tackle to Ron Armstead. Okafor, who tore his Achilles last year, has been a healthy participant through camp and was great again today. Armstead, meanwhile, has fought through some nagging hip and knee injuries and came into camp sharp. Armstead one of the NFL's best tackles when healthy, and the Saints hope he can be a big impact player this year if his health holds up. NFL Sundays can't get here soon enough, and one of the voices most synonymous with the American tradition, Joe Buck, will remain in the Fox booth after agreeing to a three-year extension. Buck will continue to lead the network's NFL coverage as well as the World Series and the U.S. Open. Buck's presence with Fox will increase in 2018 with the addition of Thursday Night Football. He will continue to fill his Sunday duties in addition to the Thursday night broadcasts. The NFL has announced that the Pro Bowl will return to Orlando for the third straight season in 2019. The postseason game will again be played the week prior to the Super Bowl, January 27th, a 3 p.m. start from Camping World Stadium. The game will again feature 88 players split between the NFC and AFC. The game that will be broadcast on ESPN. And in the second round of the Women's British Open today, Canadian golfer Brooke Henderson had the shot of the day. Henderson knocking in a hole in one on the par three ninth hole. She'd soon thereafter pass around some high fives after realizing it went in. That got Henderson down to six under for the tournament at the time. She's in eighth place, five strokes back of the leaner, Pornanon Petlam. Professional wrestler Kane has made a career change, and he may be coming to an office near you. The WWE fan favorite was elected mayor of Knox County in eastern Tennessee Thursday night. Mayor-elect Glenn Jacobs, as he's now known, ran as a Republican, defeating the Democratic nominee. Known in the ring as seven-foot big red machine, Jacobs has lived in Tennessee since 1995. Kane narrowly won by 23 votes in what was the first time he had ever ran for public office. One thing, this is my first race that I've ever been in, and I was extremely fortunate in that both the primary and the general election were, were clean. There was no mudslinging, um, there were no nasty tactics. Jacob's gonna take office on September 1st, and could you believe it was clean with a wrestler? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say the next time it probably will be clean as well because he may get a little rough with it. Yeah. I mean, he, we do know he, he might can. throw down, right? Yeah, yeah. He can do that. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right.